Yes, good choice, man. That was the thunder at shine. It was indeed. Yeah. That's a happy tune now. Yeah, absolutely. Now, in Tacity, are currently seeking sponsors and advertisers for a local football team made in Brazil who will be touring the UK playing matches in conjunction with the 2014 World Cup Brazil. They have opportunities for a campaign which will allow local businesses to advertise at each match in an online magazine. And I'm delighted to say, join us on the line now from Viva Samba Brazil is Simone. Hi, Simone. Hello. Hello. Adding a bit of Brazilian flavour to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about what's happening? Well, um, Inner City has been in touch with Viva Brazil Summer Show, which uh, it's basically myself and loads of good-looking dancers, Brazilians and non-Brazilians, as I teach Samba dance classes to the uh, uh, British girls. Mm -hmm. um, so they got in touch for us to be involved in this project, which uh, um, it's basically a much cheaper way to watch football than going all the way to Brazil uh, yeah. by next year. <laughs> <laughs> so it is actually real Brazilians playing football against the the other teams from the different countries that will be playing at the same time in Brazil. So. Uh, we'll be living it up a little bit, uh, you know, with the sequins and feathers and everything. Um, just creating a little bit of a kind of atmosphere before the match and get, yeah. getting people in the mood. So pretty much you have everything. You have the, the, the Brazilian dancers, you have the Brazilian footballers, you have the great pitches that you have here and you have a nice brand behind pushing it through uh, to bring good entertainment, good football, good family events, uh, right here in the Northwest, nice and cheap, so everybody should just turn up and enjoy the game. Well, you, have you got any sunshine for us? Well, you do sound like you're putting the summer into football, but we could do with the weather. I know, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit, touch a little bit white at the moment. But, uh, people might think <laughs> I'm not a So I will be sorting that out as I'm going to Rio Carnival in uh, February, March. Uh, so I shall top up in Copacabana Beach, and by the time I come oof. back, I'll look Brazilian again. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Now, it's going to be a, a huge time for Brazil because obviously there's the World Cup next year, and there's also the Olympics in 2016. Yes. So there's going to there's going to be a Brazil theme running everywhere across the world for the next couple of years isn't there absolutely it's it's if you want to be in mm. you gotta be doing anything to do with brazil absolutely. so it's it's all systems are go at the moment we have so many bookings for shows and at different events because everybody wants a piece of that you know it's it, when you say brazil it's all fun colorful happy full on energy so um yeah it's pretty much in our system go. I always have an extra extra pair of thongs. <laughs> I join the team. Wow. <laughs> well, there's right. enough for you can't refuse. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So. Uh, I'm very proud and obviously I'm happy I'm here. Obviously, um, I did participate in the Olympic closed ceremony in London. Wow. Fantastic. Representing the Brazil side. And obviously I was very proud and it was really great opportunity because I'm Brazilian, I do live here, so I didn't have to travel that far to, to, to be part of it. And uh, I'm, you know, moving my fingers even there and getting in touch with contacts and see if I can be involved in, in Olympics again this time in Brazil, but who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah. So oh, I'm so excited, I'm so happy, and all the British yeah. people, you know, I, I excited, a lot of people that I know going there. Yeah. To, to be part of this and the World Cup being, you know, at the home of football. Thank you very much. Absolutely. So, <laughs> uh, Brazil are going to win it, haven't they? Oh, you have to, oh, please, it's been a little while, isn't it? I know we still the most wins, but it's been a while, so we need it again before France gets uh, any closer to us and things like that. So. Absolutely. Now, we heard in your, your personal life uh, there, Simone, that you've had a, a little uh, baby girl called Isabella. Now, how, how does mother, motherhood fit in with the, the Sanderhood? Well, it's like this, Brazil. There is always a way with us, and, and if you if you have heard it before, people say the Brazilian way mm -hmm. because we always find a way for everything, you know. <laughs> um, so uh, basically, this is attitude, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly, you know. Um, I, I have her hanging out of my shelf in one side while I'm making costumes with the other hand and things like that. Uh, but 
thankfully because I kept on dancing all the way to eight and a half months. Wow. Uh, you know, teaching, teaching classes, I did stop performing at six months when I started showing. <laughs> um, when I couldn't hide no, behind the costumes any anymore. Obviously, into the costumes. Yeah, so um, I still taught classes, three classes actually, until eight and a half months. So uh, I kept fit. Obviously, that was totally fine for myself because it's something I always do dancing. So yeah. for me, it was no problem whatsoever. And uh, th therefore, I, I kept fit. And therefore, three weeks after the birth, I was already in a bikini and I, I looked okay, you know, it wasn't uh, as my usual self, but it was okay. Yeah. And I've been dancing ever since, so, you know, the husband you know, is not just doing the business and leave everything for me, so <laughs> I leave her with him overnight yeah. when, when I have to go out uh, and I go to the shows, yeah, and uh, he takes care of her. And I'm already making her little Titi Wini samba costume yeah. for uh, the <laughs> festival in July. <laughs> well, Simone, we could sit and chat with you all day, and we'll, we'll have to get you on when we've got more time, but it's coming up to the news at five o'clock, so we're going to have to let you go. Oh, no but problem, that, you guys. We can just give you a taster of Brazil. This is a track from the film Senna, so I hope you enjoy this one, Simone. Oh, lovely. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we yeah, the best sunshine. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm Ian Fan. We'll be back after the news.